Around the year, we have four different seasons, and each season has its own weather. Talking about the weather, it's easy and important. It's important to break the ice with someone you talk for the first time. Talking about the weather happens here in Canada every single day to open a conversation or a small talk. In this video, we will learn how to talk about the weather properly and how to put it in a conversation. What's going on, everyone? This is Abdurrahman Ramadan from Let's Talk Channel, your online source to learn English at your own pace. Anytime, anywhere. Let's get started. So there's one format we use to talk about the weather. It plus is plus the adjective. It is hot. It's hot. We use this when we want to talk about the weather right at the time of the speech or for the day, today. But if you want to talk about the weather for yesterday, so you would say yesterday it was plus the adjective. Yesterday it was hot. Yesterday it was cold. It's cold means it's cold right now. It's cold outside. It was cold. It was cold before the time of my speech. At any time before that. In the summertime it gets hot. In some places it gets really hot. And when it's hot we say it's about 30 degrees and up. But if it's warm, warm is like between 20 to 25 degrees. In some places it gets really hot. Like Dubai. When I was in Dubai in 2015, I really couldn't believe the temperature records there. It was about 55 degrees. This is insane. It's too hot. When it's too hot like that, we have a couple of expressions we can use. We can say it's boiling or it's baking. It's boiling or it's baking. And that means the weather is really, really hot. And we're talking here about 45 degrees and up. And when it's hot like that, people get dehydrated. And dehydrated means that their bodies are dry, needs water. So people drink lots of water when it's hot so they can keep hydrated. Dehydrated and hydrated. In the spring, we get lots of rain. In Canada, they have a very common saying, April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. It's raining a lot. We can say it's raining heavily out there. It's raining heavily out there. What if we have light rains? We can call it light showers. Light showers. If it rains like few drops, we can say it's dripping. It's dripping or it's spitting. Spitting. Sometimes we see lightning and thunder before it rains. And after that, it rains heavily. You, you can use that expression, it's chucking it down. It's chucking it down. To chuck something, it's to throw something carelessly, like without care. It's chucking it down. Chucking it down means it's raining heavily. When it rains, people on the street, they get soaked and wet. Soaked and wet means that all your clothes is like full water. Then in the spring, it starts to get a bit chilly at night time. Chilly. Chilly means little cold. Chilly. Winter time here is a completely different story in Canada. It gets really cold. Very cold. To the point it can freeze everything around you. Everything is frozen. Winter time in a lot of places they can say it's cold. In Canada it's freezing. And freezing means it's below zero because it gets below zero here a lot in the winter time, like actually most of the winter. It's always below zero. So when it's below zero, it's freezing. It's freezing. When it's above zero, it can be it's cold or it's very cold. And then a lot of times it starts snowing, snowing. So it is snowy out there. It's snowy means it's snowing at the time of the speech. When it snows, roads get slippery, slippery, slippery roads. <sighs> And exclusively in Canada, I'm not really sure about anywhere in the world, we get freezing rain. And freezing rain is really special condition. When it rains, it literally freezes everything. I've got some pictures, I'll show you. So this is freezing rain. All the trees, all the cars, all the doors, they get frozen. 
and it's really hard to open and hard to break and life gets really hard life gets really hard when we have freezing rain and when we have freezing rain the freezing rain itself it creates sheet of ice sheet of ice on the road so when it's that cold people bundle up bundle up bundle up means that they wear lots of clothes lots of jackets to keep warm so people bundle up when winter ends and snow melts roads get slushy slushy it's a mixture between ice and water because it gets warmer and the ice or the snow melts and mixed with whatever on the ground so it makes a slushy slushy when there are lots of clouds in the sky we say it's cloudy in Canada we have lots of clouds to the point that you don't see the sun for days and sometimes we say it's dark it's dark because the sky is full of clouds and the opposite of that when we see no clouds so the sky is clear so it's clear out there. I used to serve a customer before she literally talks about weather every single time she comes in so it's really important and it's easy it is plus the adjective it's really easy and it opens up a small talk so that was it about today's lesson guys and uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, now you know how to talk about the weather so start using it to uh, open up small talks and you go from there alright thanks very much and I'll see you next weekend peace